Well, the boys are over here buttoning up their bat rod and getting ready to load it because we're going to head down to the Freedom Factory. Right now I'm headed to the airport, so I'm going to get down to Florida and help Jeremy at Faster Proms uh, work on their little project. So we got the curse all ready to go. Goofy built has been cranking away on his little CRX. What is Oh, can you sh yeah, show everybody what you wrote. I'm just cutting it off so I can make it. It laugh. says CRX, but yeah. The NSX is still strapped on the dyno, where we'll probably sit until I get back, and then uh, we'll get back to work on it too. So, all right, guess we're gonna head to the airport and uh, get out of here. This, this flight is crazy. Keep headed to hey guys, so I made it to Florida, no problem. Um, I was picked up from the airport from uh, the raddest Uber driver, Ellie. I way appreciate your ride and company and uh, just clean car, everything rad. She was super cool and uh, it was just, it was a good experience. So I way appreciated that. Samantha made these cool little, um, well, you know, I remember in the last video, she made these for the dogs. And I uh, was at the house and I was like, hey, can you make a few of those for the guys at the shop and stuff? Because it's really nice because you're able to touch your face still and like do what you need to do and yet you're not touching your mouth or nose. So I thought it was a neat little deal. So some, thank you, Samantha, for making that. Um, if you guys do want to pick any of these up, it was originally a bandana for her dogs. <laughs> but I thought this was a good, good deal for it. So Samantha's selling these on her Instagram, Samantha Brene. Um, so go ahead and get on there and check that out if you guys need anything. But um, we've got our quarantine shirts up on the website, pfispeed.com. So jump over there and, and pick one of those up. It's, uh, you know, this is a crazy time and the support helps. Uh, we are still a small business and the YouTube helps and uh, all of that. But we have a pretty big crew and we have a lot going on in the building and a lot. So. Uh, this is a tough time for all of us as well as you guys. I, I know it's it's a wild deal. None of us have ever gone through anything like this, so it's kind of new for us all, and we're all gonna learn, and we're all gonna figure it out. So, um, so don't be scared or nervous. So we'll just keep all riding it, um, keeping you know washing your hands, making sure everything's always clean and prepped, and um, just taking those little safeguards will probably probably help us all out a lot. So. Um, but yeah, I made it here okay and everything was good. You saw the flight was just so small. It was pretty wild. The boys are uh, gonna try to leave in the morning. Um, Amelia was finishing some body panels and stuff on Honoru, so he's working real hard to get that all loaded up. Jamie's got um, the curse and the bat rod loaded up. Uh, the curse, um, he got the automatic transmission put in. Um, him and his friend Willie they're gonna do a race week with that car this year, uh, Rocky Mountain Race Week, uh, while I do it with uh, Cletus. It's not, um, while I do it with Cletus. So those two are gonna do race week together, and uh, he's been trying to figure out a way to make the car more reliable, because you saw this last year, he went through like five transmissions, you know, ever since he turned the power up. So it's been a deal. So. He got this three-speed auto and it's got a bunch of billet parts in it and uh, he's going to go ahead and uh, try that. So he's bringing that out here to Florida so while we're quarantined and and out here, um, he can tinker on it, drive it, and learn the car and we can start figuring it out. He's bringing the bat rod, you know, because originally we, we had all this set up for Cleveson cars, you know, but as you know, that was canceled. So uh, the bat rod's on the way too and we're going to go ahead and, and take that out and... Uh, just try to figure out learning the car and learning to drive it and learn what I need to do and kind of just practice them for the rest of the, the belt stuff. So, so I look forward to trying all that out too. But the rest of this video, I uh, tuned a little Civica, I don't know, maybe a week ago or so. Um, so I was going to toss that up and then I was also going to toss up uh, Jamie and Willie putting the transmission in the curse. 
Um, I'd like you guys to get to know Willie because Willie and Jamie are going to be doing, like I said, race week together. So there's going to be a whole series with them throughout the week. So we'll be following them and, and seeing all the struggles and all the, the good times they have trying to, try to make it because race week's no joke. So I appreciate you guys joining us and being part of the channel and uh, supporting us and all the all and all you guys do uh jump on there get you know all your merch phoenix you know just like the phoenix we're all gonna rise from this 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 mess we're in this pandemic and and we'll come out better for sure we'll be way more understanding um but yeah so get on the website pick up some merch uh the new quarantine shirts are just killer um but without taking any more of your time let's get to let's get to some tuning Get quarantined. All right, guys. So welcome back to PFI Speed. We've got uh, this little hot rod running. Uh, we're out setting the timing right now. And uh, kind of getting our basics, getting in our groove for the day. I know this coronavirus has got everybody nervous in quarantine. I'm glad you guys are at home, staying safe, and uh, can join us while we get this stuff worked out. Hi right, guys, so this is a stock motor LSV. We just put 1,000 cc injectors in it and a four bar. It's got 255 in it, or a 450 fuel pump, sorry. So real simple setup. Let's check the temperature. Temperature's good. I got some coolant smell. What? I've got some coolant smell. Coolant smell. Let's look under it. anywhere okay I smell it what's your what you're saying yeah I smell it I'm just trying to get the dead times right there we go so I had to change those up because they just I had no idle control Yeah. Yeah. See if it changed during the long. No, it didn't change until look, I was sitting here. Oh, that blue one. Yeah, you see it drop yeah, right just, there. Yeah, is that a big coolant smell in the car? The yeah. other thing would be if there's a. I do see a touch of coolant right there. Air pocket here. Where? Right here on oh, that yeah, nipple. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Need a light? No. 
no coolant here, so it's not leaking outside the heater cord. Doesn't mean it can't be leaking inside the heater cord. Yeah. I got hot air. Okay. But stop. You smell it inside the car. So it, oh, it's through the vents, yeah. It's through the vents, so there's a definitely a heater core issue going on. Yep. So that could be why that it could be near a pocket, or it could just be leaking. Yeah, man. And it's kind of getting. I smell it outside the car blowing from the vents. Yeah. We may loop those hoses for now. Okay. Take the heater core out of it. Yeah. So it looks like we found it. Your heater core is probably bad. Okay. So, I might have to those hoses just so I, because I had it, it was really crazy. It was like sitting at 183, so it was uh -huh. like cool, we'll make a pull. And as soon as we made the pull, but it stayed 183 the whole time, so we may just check that sensor too. But okay. as it cooled down, it just immediately dropped to 140. Mm -hmm. like that. Okay. So, it's super strange. So, we then we bypass that and then just monitor that cooling stuff still. So, because I smelled antifreeze inside the car. Yeah, yeah. Then when he turned on the blower motor, he really yeah, smelled it. Turned on the vents, it was like coming out. So it's mm -hmm. gotta be really. That's the only other place it's cooling. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't seem like it's leaking on the floor. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if they get full enough, they will. All right, so I looped the coolant hoses, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and check this out. You want to film those coolant hoses looped real quick? We looped that hose around. Got rid of the other one. So we can see it's 190 degrees. Let's watch this live. Does. 122 yeah. and all we did was 123 all we did was shut it off yeah. back on 125 sensor 118 117 114 it's definitely not that cold no it was just running you guys all saw that 183.2 for x amount of long oh now it's 156 155 so that's what we're on 40. So that's what we're chasing. You can see bright, plain, clear the temperature just all out of whack. So we're going to change that temperature sensor. Caps back on. I'm showing 180 on the sensor. No, just watch it. Seems to be working good. We're at 182.
41. We're on the right track, and obviously I'm not worried about a hit gasket no more or nothing. So. Yeah. Temp ball showed good. Yep, temp showed good. Sweet. Still shows good. Still island kind of high. Yeah. How much was it? 248. You have 250 in here with it all clean. 250 is my goal. Okay. They get like in the 350 zone with this turbo, I'd have to push 15 to 17 pounds ish. Okay. So it would be like screaming the yeah. turbo would, but then would create a lot of heat, which makes the engine side less safe. Um, this, yeah, I think it's gonna run great. All right, guys, it looks like 252 is where we're gonna leave it. Got it smoothed out, running nice. So now he's just gonna be looking for a bigger turbo, and then we can turn it on up. Appreciate it, bro. Enjoy it. Woo! This is awesome. Jeremy over here at Fast Proms. Just working the tune up on this little hot rod. This is sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed that little Civic Ripper. It was super fun to find the problems and solve them and get it out the door. But we're out here, we got the Freedom 500 coming up. Way pumped for all that. And uh, these guys, we got, we got some rad projects coming. So appreciate you guys watching. Give us a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Thanks a bunch, stay home, stay safe, and uh, Keep ripping. All right, take care.